this next group is getting ready to get started. Now, now listen up. They're going to do a very special tribute to someone today. Please pay attention to what they say. They're doing a special tribute. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to this... You know how Marlene Johnson is? She's always bossing me around. Ah, oh, darn it. Albert, do this. Albert, do that. She wants you guys to quiet down just a little bit. Don't talk to each other while doing the performance here. And so we'll pay attention to these people, huh? Okay. I want to take just a special point of privilege, personal privilege, to recognize my, my two aunties who are here tonight from Angoon, um, Liz McCluskey on the Raven side and Irene Cadienti on the, on the Eagle side. They're my aunties, and I'm happy that they're here to join us today. So please recognize them for me. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to David Boxy and Git Hone. Give them a great welcome. Thank you. There's a gathering of village people down in the center of town, and they're talking about this really strange phenomenon, this thing that's been happening in town today. And they, they're talking about this really weird guy. And they, he's, they see him every once in a while and, and they can't figure out what he's about. So we're hoping that sometime someone will be able to tell us uh, what's going on with him. I have no idea. faces should hurt. If you didn't, your faces don't hurt, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> in ancient days of the Simshan, we, in our potlatches, we had demonstrations called Nachnoch, which is the spirit guardian. This is an example of an ancient, old, old Simshan tradition called a Nachnoch, in which a person owned that demonstration of his power, his, his personal power. And the reason that I'm telling you that is it belongs to my younger son, Zach. 
who you would think never laughs. But he really is funny in, in, in when he wants to be. And I uh, wrote that song when he was about this big. And it's called Shishalsk. It means laughing. I want to introduce my son David, my oldest boy, Nasil Gidu, to, uh, to explain the, our performance today. Oh, you see, news him. A plugalagic cigar, the will of the Ahu, the Limium, at a meal, and the Rosham. We're so proud to be able to sing and dance for you all, and we're uh, quite impressed that the hall is so full in the AM. Um, this is a bit, quite a change of pace from the song we just did, but um, in the spirit of, of the honoring that was done last night, you know, our people. Uh, all of our people are, are affected by cancer. And um, there, are, there, are, there are folks right now, um, your family members, our friends, suffering from it. Um, I want Doth Ginny to know we're thinking about her. And uh, we, we lost uh, Cindy James. She was here last celebration, and she's not here now, and, and we still feel a, a great void in the group. So um, her son, Nick, is coming around here with, with her photograph. We want you all to know that we're dedicating uh, this performance to Cindy and her memory. And uh, the last song that we do at the end of our performance now is, is a song that Gavin Hudson and I wrote uh, for Cindy called Cindy's Song. And uh, she loved celebration very much and loved you all. And um, we're not trying to be too sad because she, she would have been right there with the laughing song with us. So uh, that'll be, we just want you to know that this is for her and we're going to work our behinds off up here for all of you. So uh, thank you all very much. We are so proud and so happy to be standing in front of you to sing and dance for you. It, it's such a humbling feeling to know that you, you, you wanted to come and watch us. I, I, don't, I don't get it, but thank you very much. Thank you. Um, the next song we're going to do is our, our only old song. Uh, this is going to be the, this celebration is the first time we've ever used five 
dancers in this one. I mean, normally do four because of the four clans, Eagle, Raven, Wolf, and Simsian. I mean, Eagle, Raven, Wolf, and Killer Whale. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you were standing where I'm standing... He really does get nervous. <laughs> yeah, 40 years I've been doing this and I still... If, if you were standing where I'm standing, looking at all these people, looking at me making a mistake, it's pretty hard. None of these young men are chiefs, but we're wearing the Amhalite, the headdress that represents the, the four clans of our people. This is a strong feeling of peace between our people and SHI and the Kidaranites, the Klinket people and the Haida people and all the visitors. Doexism. That means thank you all very much. It was great honor to be a part of an honoring for my friend Albert last night. We, we got to stand with two other really amazing dance groups, Angoon Group and St. Elias. It was kind of a surprise, little surprise. It was a lot of fun. Made us feel, made us feel uh, grateful to be here. Thank you, Albert. Thanks for everything you've ever done for our people. Appreciate it. Hey, Allison, you ready to yell out uh, the beginning of the song from, up, uh, from back there? Okay. Allison Marks wrote this next song and gave it to us. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to be uh, using it proudly, always. But I'm going to have I'm embarrassing. No, I'm not embarrassing her. She never gets embarrassed. So I'm going to have her at start us as soon as the guys are ready. This, was, uh, this is uh, a song called Anyat Kusani. Most of you know what that means. This is in honor of all of you Klinkit people and the Akwan of Juno, our hosts, our guests, our friends.
Royal Street Newism. Thank you all very much. The next song uh, we're going to do for you is called The Raven Song. This song was written by Christine Martin from Vancouver, B.C., written to honor her uncle, Samoyagat Chief Murray Smith, uh, and his brothers, her uncles. Uh, so all the ravens, come on, let's hear it, ravens. Uh, we love doing this song for you. And I know we say this every year, but uh, there, there's nothing like celebration. And there's nothing like this feeling in the pit of our stomachs right now, dancing for all of you. It's a good feeling, but it's, it's the responsibility, not only representing our people, but hopefully filling every, giving you everything we got right here. And we love you all and, uh, again, are just terribly grateful. This is the Raven song. Thank you very, very much. The next song we're going to do is called The Eagle Spirit. Uh, this song was written originally in 1994 for my great grandfather's memorial. Uh, belong this song belongs to the Luxkeek of Metlakatla, Alaska. And uh, the lead dancer tonight for this song is going to be Cindy's grandson, Dominic wearing her mask. And uh, 
Boy. Anyway, this is Eagle Spirit. Thank you very much, Zeus. Uh, see Alaska Heritage for putting on this amazing gathering. There's nothing like this, isn't there? There's, no, there's nothing like this that is so powerful. I want to compliment the leaders of SHI for making the Simshan feel equal and feel part of this. I appreciate that very much. makes the Clinket people look really big. <laughs> three men, three young men were down the beach digging clams. Pretty hard beach today. They are approached by what they think are three young women who are not really three young women. They are, they are the evil monsters called uh, what you call acoustica. Now, when a young man sees acoustica, he sees a good-looking young woman. When a, good lo when a young woman sees acoustica, they, they see a good-looking young man. So, you know what happens, eh? Anyway, these young men are taken by these monsters, these shapeshifters. A shaman comes to their rescue but he's defeated by their evil power, so he goes back to his cave and he sings his power song and fasts and dances. And that's all I'm telling you. You have to stay tuned to this channel or put your phone on the right app or whatever you're doing. 
One of the things that I hope you take away from ever watching Get Hoan is how much fun we have and how, how much it means to us to be able to, be able to do what we do. It's, it, it's not a, we don't think so much of ourselves as we think of you and that's, that's the best part. So thank you so much for being here.
Last celebration, uh, we surprised you with this n the song we're going to do next, but uh, this year we've demoted it a little bit and moved it down the line. But hopefully you'll like it just as much because it honors all of us. This song honors all of you, all of our people who are people of the salmon. The salmon are, uh, are at risk everywhere. I saw a report recently, and I hope all the bigwigs of any tribes and organizations are here to see this. You can look it up. Scientists are predicting that it's possible that in 25 years, all saltwater fish could be extinct. If the salmon die, it's a keystone species. Everything else goes too, meaning us too. And we know how precious the salmon are. And we need to impress that on everybody else that's in charge. We go if they go. <laughs> Honor the salmon. This next song we're going to do, we haven't done in a while for you all. Um, and I'd like to preface it with this. I said this at the A&B Hall the other night, and I, before I, I say it, I'm, 
really am uh, I'm not meaning this to be boastful in any way, but I want, I'm saying it because I want to thank the Alaska Heritage Institute. They partnered with uh, the Hike Foundation in Metlakatla to help do uh, a master apprentice language program for us. And uh, we've been at it for over a year. And um, I, I'm able now to sing in Somali and understand it the way I would if I was singing in English. And it's, it's terribly exciting. But this next song is about coming of the, our contact with Europeans and how people came and said, this isn't yours anymore. You can't have this. Not only can you not have it, it's wrong for you to have it. And what a terrible time for us to go through. We're learning now through language revitalization that that causes such trauma that it actually alters your genes. And that trauma is not only passed down through, through the effects, your, you know, the feeling in your heart, but genetically to generation after generation. And we've found that heritage language reacquisition can heal that damage. So I'll, I'll, I'll end this little promotion for our languages with this. And I said it at the A&B Hall the other night. The surface of our culture, our amazing art, and our beautiful dancing is just that. It's the surface. It's what we're able to show the rest of the world. It's everything underneath it that we all need to work towards saving. I ask my generation, I, I plead with you, remember that hoo-ha isn't what we should be reaching for. We, we do what we do in the feast hall. And when we pay our witnesses and we feed our guests and we do things the old way and we speak our language, that's what is real and makes us who we are. It doesn't matter if you sing and dance. It doesn't matter if you carve or weave. Speak your language and practice your culture. This song is about our struggle and the return and what we have today. One small thread of a once powerful rope that held our culture together. Every time we sing, every time we dance, every time we use our language, the rope gets thicker, the rope gets stronger. Yeah. 
Wait, what? Slatum Gaudium. We're just about finished. I want to thank you all so very much for, for your interest in my dance group and are, I'm so proud of all these young people. Um, this very large young man behind my oldest son is my youngest son. He's got, a, he's got a table and a booth over there in the Jack Center. Please go visit him. This is the last day. I'd appreciate it. I, I am his dad. I can get away with that, I guess. Please go look at it. He makes some great drums and boxes. I'm turning, I'm, I'm turning this uh, end, the exit over uh, to my son. Om trogoru, dip dim yil yelt ka dana dana kal tapsum, kal sip tapsum. At a su su at a dip su alarms ka na lip algorithm. Hotten, hotten na kagodsum, dana dana dip a yelt. A blugal a yelt ka I can go to the Lord. I was able to go to the Lord. I was able to go to the Lord. I was able to go to I hope that you all go home to your villages and continue to make your people stronger, practice your cultures, learn your languages. Thank you all for being here, and I want to thank my Somali teacher, Mrs. Sarah Booth, without whom I wouldn't be able to say what I'm saying today. This is our traveling song and our exit. We, we love you. Thank you all so much. Oh, yeah.
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, while he's a great dancer and he's got a great dance group, one of the signature pieces that you'll ever see that he's done and he's done with his son David is the piece that's the house post inside, the house screen inside Sea Alaska Heritage Building. That is going to be the one piece that this man is ever going to be known for. He's going to be known for a lot of things, but that house screen inside the Sea Alaska Heritage Building, if you haven't seen it, go see it. This is the artist, his son helped him with it. That is a signature piece, one of the best and one of the most impressive. <laughs>